Readers, hi, David here, and today I want to ask you, hey, what's the big idea? Wait, no, sorry, one second. Ah, yeah, sorry. Uh, you're supposed to ask that question. We're talking about supporting a main idea with key details. Let's say I'm building a house, right? If I want the house to have a roof, it needs walls. The walls support the roof. Writing works the same way. If an author wants to express a main idea to build a roof, if you will, they need to support that idea with details. The walls that hold that roof, that idea, upright. No walls, house falls down. No details, idea falls down. You see? If you want to understand how an author supports a main idea with key details, here are the steps you can take. First, identify the topic. What is the text mainly about? Then ask, what's the author's big idea? What are they trying to say about the topic? This will be your main idea. And finally, find details that support that main idea. I'll show you how to do that with this text. Lucretia Mott fought for justice in the 19th century. She was a Quaker, a member of a religious group that believed in equality for everyone. She fought to end slavery. She fought for the right to vote for women and black Americans. She gave many speeches throughout her life. Her home was a stop on the Underground Railroad, a secret route that enslaved people followed to freedom. She worked hard to make America a better place for everyone. So let's go through our steps. What's the topic? This 19th century woman, Lucretia Mott. Next step, what is the author trying to say about Lucretia Mott? Authors often state their main idea in the first sentence or paragraph of the text. And, and right in the first sentence of this text, the author states a big idea. Lucretia Mott fought for justice in the 19th century. I noticed that most of the text describes ways she fought for justice. And that last line also emphasizes that idea. She worked hard to make America a better place for everyone. That's the author's main idea. Now, here's the third step. I'm going to switch to blue. What details support this big idea? This idea that Mott fought for the cause of justice in America. Let's go through the text and check. Does the idea that Mott was a Quaker support the idea that she fought for justice? Well, Quakers believed in equality for everyone. That's wonderful. But does being a Quaker automatically mean that she was a fighter for justice? That's unclear from the text. This relates to our main idea, but it isn't the strongest support. What about working to end slavery? Yeah, that's very much about fighting for justice. What about working to get the right to vote for women and black Americans? That feels like fighting for justice to me. Uh, those are both ways to spread equality. Man, we're on a roll with supporting details here. Let's move on to the next sentence. She gave many speeches throughout her life. Huh. Now, it doesn't say here what she was speaking about. It just says she gave many speeches. This isn't detailed enough to support the main idea. For all we know, she could have given speeches about her favorite kind of potato chip, you know. So we can't say that this detail clearly supports the author's main idea that Lucretia Mott fought for justice. Final detail, her home was a stop on the Underground Railroad, a secret route that enslaved people followed to freedom. That's taking action to help people become free. Yeah, that sounds pretty justice-friendly to me. Nice work. We've found a lot of details in the text that support the author's main idea. This is how you build a text, you see? Just like the walls of a well-built house support the roof, the key details in a text support the main idea. So it won't come crashing down. You can learn anything. David out.